Hello YouTube, it is your boy B3 back with another kicking action figure review. We're also joined by Naughty Cat today, sitting right next to me doing a little reviews. She likes to do reviews. But uh, today we have yet another Ultraman figure from Ultraman Zero, The Revenge of Belial. It is Dark Gone. Yeah, one of Belial's generals. He's based off an older uh, Toku creature from the Showa era. And uh, he's a really cool updated Kind of, well, he's not an updated version of that character. He is based on that character because that character is not from the Ultraman franchise. Um, look it up. It's on the wiki. But uh, he was pretty cool. He fought Glenfire and Ultraman Zero with all his ships and stuff. I've reviewed that movie on my other channel also, my B3 Reductions channel. So check it out. But uh, Dark Gun is a really cool looking alien, and before anyone asks, before anyone asks in the comments, because they always ask on Ultraman, Godzilla, and Gamera figures, before you ask, this character will not be in G and G. However, this character will appear in Ultra Kaiju Brothers on my B3 Productions channel, the spinoff of G and G. So he will appear there. But uh He's he's a pretty cool looking figure. His articulation is exactly what you would expect. Uh, you know, the arms rotate like this so he can reach for the sky. Which you would actually do with two arms, but whatever. Uh, he also has waist swivel. So that quote-unquote ultra articulation, I don't remember who coined that. If it was like Deadzilla or Goji73 or somebody, but somebody coined that. Whatever. But he's still pretty cool. He's he's a really cool looking alien. I just like all this blue, and I think it pairs well with the brown. I like his big kind of crystal and things there. I always like four eyes like that. He looks like fucking Trigon or Raven or some shit. It's dope. Uh, detail and paint wise, excellent. Uh, just a really great sculpt. You know, gonna give Glenfire some trouble. I really like him. He's very very cool. So uh, now we're going to put him back here because we are going to do whoop size comparisons. I know you guys love size comparisons. It's my favorite part of reviews also. Um, now first off, we're going to show him with another Ultra Kaiju. He's more of a Saiyan, but here's Bogal from Ultraman Mebius. This is the less rare Bogal, the EX. That's pretty cool. That looks good to me. Uh, if you want to see him with some Ultraman, which of course you do, here's kind of a 6-inch Ultraman, the 2009 Ultra Hero Series Ultraman Resculpt. They look excellent together. Very excellent. Here he is with an Ultra 500 Sparked All Ultraman, Ultraman Ace. Not as good. I think these look better with 6-inch monsters, but the 6-inch Ultraman look better with the Sajans. Because the Sajans are normally the same size as the Ultras. Uh, let's show him with a Godzilla quote-unquote monster, more like a robot. Medical Jet Jaguar. They look great together. Now I do want to show him with a Godzilla. We are going to show him with a NECA Godzilla, the same one I've been using for the past several reviews. The Atomic Blast 2001 Godzilla. They look cool together also. And that is probably enough size comparisons for today, honestly. So, all in all, what are my thoughts on the Bandai Japan Dark Gun figure from Ultraman Zero, The Revenge of Belial? Glad I finally have this in my collection. I've kind of wanted it for a while, and then uh, I rewatched that movie, and I was like, fuck it, I'm going to find me a cheap one on eBay, and I did. This guy was very cheap. On eBay, he's a little beat up, but... Not like so much that it's bad. Because you can see those scuffs on his chest and stuff. Like he's obviously been played with, but that's what toys are for, you know? He will be in Ultra Kaiju Brothers. Uh, he'll be a, a kind of a parody, kind of a throwback to a classic comedic style. It'll be real fun. Um, at least I hope it'll be real fun. So, uh, yeah, that's it. Very cool figure. If you like Belial and you like his army and you just like cool Sajans, cool stuff for your Ultraman to fight, definitely check out uh, this figure. It's not so expensive online that it's not worth getting for a kid, 
but uh, it's also a good adult collectible figure as well. So that's it. Thank you all very much for your support. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Check out all the cool links in the description below, Facebook, Twitter, etc. And I'll be seeing you all later.